am a college student and I'm living in Wells, Maine right now, um, working. And I am going to this protest because I want to shut down the Brayton Point coal plant. Um, it's a really bad idea to have this plant going for a lot of reasons. Um, it's detrimental to the community. It's hurting the children and the people living in that community. Um, and it's contributing to climate change. It's the biggest coal plant in New England. Um, and we're getting the coal from Dominion Energy, a lot of which comes from Columbia, and it's detrimental to communities there too. Um, and the burning of fossil fuels is contributing to runaway climate change, which is melting the Arctic, and um, it's causing a lot of land masses and coastal areas to go underwater. It's wreaking havoc with the weather, um, and it's costing lives and people's health and money. Um, and so this is just one part in the fight against fossil fuels um, to stop all of these things from happening and to transition to um, renewable energies, which we already have the technology in place to use. One of the pictures that spoke to me most on Facebook was a picture of a Little League field that was right behind this coal plant. So we have these small kids that are out playing Little League and they're breathing in this air. Now I know that they're breathing in this air all around their community, but you see smokestacks. These kids are, you know, they've got their baseball and their caps on and all they see is smokestacks. What does that tell them? What image in their mind do they have of their communities afterwards? So I think that it's time that we move beyond that to more pristine images of Little League and what our homes look like and what clean air looks like. Melo Digo is going to lead us in some song. They're an awesome band who's really helped out with all of the planning for this wonderful action. We will rise up. We will rise up. Rise up. The power corporations hold. Rise up. Rise up. We will rise up. Yes, I was there. And if your plant closed due to foreign competition as part of a federal government trade adjustment act, you receive these benefits for up to two years, as long as you were old in education and training. We need an energy conversion assistance program for workers like the Temporary Adjustment Assistance Act. And make no mistake about it, that plant, that plant kills people. Yeah. It kills people in West Virginia where we're blowing the tops off of mountains and turning people's lungs black. It kills people in Somerset and Fall River where we have higher rates of asthma and lung disease and cancer, and it kills people through climate change. That's why we're calling for a just transition for the community that hosts this facility, for the workers that work there, because we are all in this together, folks. We have to, we will rise or sink together. Every year, year after year, there's 23,000 Americans die because of these coal-fired power plants from respiratory problems. They die prematurely. And the mercury that comes out of those same smokestacks over there causes so much mercury into our waters that one in every five women that get pregnant and have a child, they will have birth defects. That coal-fired plant is fueled by the blood of my people. And it's fueled by your blood. There's no reason, Governor Patrick, that I should give you my children to fire that plant. So I think today you should be fired up. Let's raise some hell and let's take Massachusetts and Appalachia back. I'm 22 years old. The climate has been changing for as long as I've been alive, much longer than I ever knew about it, but Congress has known about it since the 80s, before I was born, and they've done nothing. It is on us to stand up, it is on us to fight back and call for the just transition that we need. No one should have to die so that the lights stay on.
We know how to produce power without death. We know how to create jobs without death. And it's about time we did so. We need a just transition to renewables. We need a just transition for the communities in West Virginia and for here around the world so that nobody has to die to keep the lights on. We will commit to physical and verbal nonviolence for the duration of this action. All right, this is actually going to be a very straightforward march because you see that road right behind you all over there. That's Brayton Point Road. We're basically just going to march down Brayton Point Road until we get to the power station, at which point all these wonderful, wonderful people in red shirts will be doing a little bit of theater of installing these wind turbines and solar panels in front of the plant. We'll get a lovely photo of them, and then they're gonna engage in an act of nonviolent direct action. We're all gonna cheer them on, we're all gonna sing, we're all gonna have an awesome time. And I ain't gonna let nobody turn me around. Is the red light on? Yes. Okay. Okay. Um, so today, hundreds of people are here right, calling on Governor Patrick to, to shut thing? down Brayton Point and facilitate a just transition away from deadly energy towards clean, renewable energy um, for the workers of the plant and for the people of Somerset and for the people of Massachusetts. The people of Massachusetts deserve better. We deserve healthier communities, healthier jobs, and a stronger, clean economy. We will rise up.